Hey guys, um, I'm Sky, and today on Sex with Sky, we're going to be learning about safe sex. And also, you can call me Dr. Sexy because I'm actually um, known like that. People know me that way. You don't need to look it up either. But um, anyways, um, I'm going to have a few people call in. Not like I asked them to call in, but they're going to call in because they want to, and I'm going to answer their questions, so. Uh, hello? Um, I, I just had a question. Um, how effective is the pull-out method? Great question. Um, actually, it's a horrible method to rely on because there is pre-cum and also you could prematurely eject me. I'm sorry, but that does happen. So unless you don't want to be a dad, you should probably wrap it up. Next. Hi, um, my boyfriend refuses to use a condom and he thinks that since I'm on birth control that I will not get pregnant. Is that true? Well, the birth control pill is 99.9% .9 affected. So you got 0.1% to get prego. Tell your boyfriend to wrap it up. Except the chances are pretty low, so you, you probably are fine. Next. Yeah, hi, is it um normal slash good to wear two condoms, sometimes maybe even three? Um, well, actually, um, you're even supposed to only wear one because if you even wear two or three, you create friction, which just breaks the condom, which makes it non-effective. So I know you're trying to be an overachiever, but you should probably tone it down a notch, buddy. All right, Hi. next. I was just calling to ask a question. I was wondering if is it true that you can get an STI from doing it orally? Yes, you can get an STI orally. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Except um, if you aren't using a dental dam, which uh, ill, that really sucks. Um, or you know any of those things, you should probably just ask your partner to get tested so you don't get gonorrhea or herpes. Ugh. Next. Hey, so I'm gay, and I was just wondering if I qualify as being invincible from getting an STI. Let me know. Thanks. <laughs> what are you, super lesbo? Yeah, you could. Sex toys, skin-to-skin -skin contact. Come on! You're invincible. Yeah, okay. Um, hi. The, the question I have is, I was wondering if you could give me some advice on how to talk to my partner about, um, STDs. Just if you could give me some advice on how to go about that, that'd be great. That's easy. See, the way that I do it is I say, if you want all of this, then you want to do a little bit of all of that. Meaning, please wear a condom or please get tested before I let you stick your penis inside of me because I'm just not in the mood for chlamydia today. Just not in the mood for it. Or like ever, really. I mean, some days, but mostly not in the mood for that. So just ask him to get tested or wear a condom, please, please. Hello, um, hi, this is Chris speaking, um, my friend recently told me that this would oh, be the number, never had a problem, but recently she's been calling me a walking STI, STD, two acronyms, and I can't seem to put my finger on the reason why, other than I've been sleeping around with a couple girls recently, and it's got, it has to be something with the sex, so... This is my last ditch effort, and I'm call I guess I'm calling to figure this whole thing out. Yeah. Okay, Chris. Number one, does your penis feel weird? Number two, were you wearing a condom? Number three, just get tested anyways because if you're having a lot of sex, who cares? Great. But you should be getting tested. Just make sure you're not putting anyone else in danger for sexually transmitted diseases or infections. Great. So keep it up and your friend's a jerk.